Hi, I'm Dan from Inflation Support Services here, and welcome to this chat about one of the many different EFT tapping techniques that I was trained in as a certified EFT tapping practitioner. Now, the videos that you're seeing on the Inflation Support Services channel are a good representation of EFT tapping. They show the points, and it's generally what might happen in a one-on-one -on -one session. Unfortunately, the videos are very static and are speaking very globally about one particular topic. So I might be touching upon certain things that might relate to your specific issues, but then I might go off topic onto something that might not quite relate to you, even though it's somewhat on the same topic. So you might really start to scratch that surface and start to get a bit of depth, and then I'll go on to something else. And being a static video is it's not an interactive um, experience. So sometimes when we have changing of emotions, when we start to tap away a little bit more at these emotions, physical sensations, emotional intensities will change, which can only happen one-on-one -on -one dealing with your specific issues. So it's a good representation of EFT tapping, but I wouldn't say it's what EFT tapping is of its full potential. So what you're seeing, what I'm doing on the videos is the points, basically what we'll be tapping on, but it's our approach to a particular issue. And some issues people don't want to actually address full on or go straight into the center of an issue. Sometimes you need to gently ease into uh, an issue. Now, I'm going to be talking about the telling the story EFT tapping technique. And I'll give a brief rundown uh, and also what it's good for. And what it's actually good for is PTSD. Or if you have someone that likes to tell their story, their, their background, their past trauma, their stresses, similar to like people might think EFT tapping is like counseling or something. You, you sit down and you have a debrief, but it, it's different to that. So PTSD, we have a lot of different experiences that happen to us. And Gary Craig, who was the founder of EFT Tapping, found it was very good for people who had returned from the Vietnam War. And those people actually had a lot of traumatic experiences. And some of what they're talking about, even to hear, can be traumatic to the person hearing it. You might have come across videos, YouTube videos, and even on this channel where uh, people are speaking of uh, past abuse or emotional abuse and you might find your body is even reacting to the telling of that story uh, in a therapy setting uh, with a psychologist and that what you're talking about depending on the um, how visceral it is in the description can actually be quite traumatizing to to hear think about if you've gone to see a scary movie for example it's like you're not there in the experience but what you're experiencing you're, you're you're having some sort of reaction to that because sometimes when we tell of our past experiences even as we're telling it we're reliving that experience in the now our body is remembering it and because it's remembering it it's also activating the the body to to defend against something that has already been and sometimes that chronic activation creates tension within the body and if it's overwhelming even for the person to hear it, it can almost have a reinforcing trauma of, well, I don't want to hear this. And for the person that's um, had that trauma, it's like that might not have had a voice. It's like, well, I was trying to share and it's like now I'm being shut down. It's like, well, I'll never share again. So what do we do about it in the EFT tapping round? Because I'm not a counselor. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not there to do that. EFT tapping is a stress reduction tool. We want to downregulate that stressful response that when we are actually reliving or retelling a story, it's not actually having that same activation, that fight, flight, freeze activation. So we're wanting to discharge while we're telling the story. And telling the story starts basically where the person tells their story and the EFT tapping practitioner is observing, but we're also tapping while we're doing that. So we're stimulating a stress reduction in our body. As even Dr. Bessel van der Kolk said, it's a great way tapping on acupuncture points to relieve that stress. Dr. Bessel van der Kolk is actually the person that wrote The Body Keeps the Score. So it's the book about trauma. 
So when the person is actually telling the story of what they've experienced, the EFT Tappy practitioner is using their skills to observe when there is an emotional intensity, when it starts to rise in the body. So that rising in the body could be like tensing of the shoulders, could be like swelling or struggling to swallow. It could be subtle. It could be the chest um, no longer breathing to full con um, expansion. It could be tension in the neck. It could be um, just no expression on their face. So once that does happen, we don't want a person going into a, a trauma overwhelm and having a, a terrible experience, maybe going into a panic attack. So we stop them at that point. And then we go into what you would see on the channel and we'll be writing down the key points of that and tapping on that and say, so, okay, great. We've got to the end of that tapping round. Tell the story again. So the person tells the exact same story again and relives that experience whilst also tapping, whilst also having that somatic release. So we're basically going in a cycle and on a cycle and on a cycle. And every time there's that emotional intensity, we're stopping, pausing, and tapping on that particular issue. Telling the story again, seeing with that emotional intensity. Can they tell the whole story without actually having a fight, flight, freeze response to that past experience that was really traumatic for them? Going back to what I was saying about Gary Craig using that with Vietnam veterans, it's, it's his preferred technique because if we can relive quite visceral or experiences that have been holding us back in life and we can have that experience and go well that no longer bothers me anymore it's like it was part of my experience but it's no longer limiting my future experiences because i'm no longer frozen in that point or i'm no longer scared in that point because now i can tell that story and it no longer bothers me but we always want to keep within that window of tolerance as an eft tapping practitioner which can only be done one-on-one. -on -one. I, I, I can't demonstrate that um, technique live on a video. It, it's, it's not going to be of any good because I would need to know everyone's <laughs> around the world story to be able to go, okay, well, stop. Okay, let's, let's do that. And that's just one of the techniques that a certified EFT tapping practitioner can employ. Different to the videos that you're seeing on the channel, which is, you know, even though, and I speak very generally about a single topic, so the videos are a good representation of EFT tapping. You will get stress relief from it. You will get some sort of shift, but it's kind of like the tip of the iceberg sort of thing. And what's beneath that surface is individual to your um, specific background and experience and how you respond. The quickness of that is <laughs> once again, individual to your um, experiences. Sometimes that the depth of that iceberg is a lot deeper than what we originally thought. And we won't know that until we start tapping away at that surface layer first. So I might talk a bit more about the other techniques and uh, that I was trained in uh, because, yeah, there's a lot more to EFT tapping than meets the eye of what you're seeing on this channel. So I'm Dion from Inflation Support Services, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.